Experts reveal the power of exercise snacking for better health. Justin Keogh and Jackson Fry, the experts reveal, the science is clear. Resistance training is crucial to aging well. Lifting weights or doing body weight exercises like lunges, squats, or push-ups can help you live independently for longer, make your bones stronger, reduce the risk of diseases such as diabetes, and even may improve your sleep and mental health. But not everyone loves a gym. Perhaps you feel you're not a gym person and never will be, or you're too old to start. Being a gym goer can be expensive and time consuming. And some people report feeling unwelcome or awkward at the gym. The good news is you don't need the gym or lots of free time to get the health benefits resistance training can offer. You can try exercise snacking instead. What is exercise snacking? Exercise snacking involves doing multiple shorter bouts, as little as 20 seconds, of exercise throughout the day, often with minimal or no equipment. It's okay to have several hours of rest between. You could do simple body weight exercises such as chair, sit to stand squats, lunges, box step ups, calf raises, push ups. Exercise snacking like this can help improve muscle mass, strength, and physical function. And it's okay to hold on to a nearby object for balance if needed. And do these exercises regularly will also improve your balance. And that in turn reduces your risk of falls and fractures. Okay, I've done all those. Now what? Great. You can also try using resistant bands or dumbbells to do the previous mentioned five exercises as well as some of the following. Seated rows, chest and shoulder presses, bicep curls, knee extensions, and leg curls. And when using resistant bands, make sure you hold them tightly and that they're securely attached to an immovable object. Exercise snacking works well when you pair it with the activity you do often throughout the day. Perhaps you could do a few extra squats every time you get up from bed or chair. Do some lunges during a TV ad break. Check in a few half squats while you're waiting for your kettle to boil. Do a couple of elevated push-ups where you support your body with your hands on a chair or a bench while doing push-up the push-up before tucking into lunch. And sneak in a couple of calf raises while you're brushing your teeth. What does the evidence say about exercise snacking? One study had older adults without a history of resistance training do exercise snacking at home twice per day for four weeks. Each session involved five simple body weight exercises, chair, sit to stand, sit, seated knee extension, standing knee bends, marching on the spot, and standing calf raises. The participants did each exercise continuously for one minute with a one minute break between exercises. These short and simple exercise sessions, which lasted just nine minutes, were enough to improve a person's ability to stand up from the chair by 31% after four weeks compared to a control group who did not exercise. Leg power and fine muscle size improved too. Research involving one of us, the uh, Jackson Fife, has also shown older adults found exercise snacking feasible and enjoyable when done at home either once, twice, or three times per day for four weeks. Exercise snacking may be a more sustainable approach to improving muscle health in those who don't want or can't lift heavier weights in a gym. And a little can yield a lot. We know from our research that the more you exercise, the more likely it is you will keep exercising in the future. Very brief resistance training, albeit with heavier weights, may be more enjoyable than traditional approaches when people aim to do many, many sets. We also know brief and frequent exercise sessions can break up periods of sedentary behavior, which usually means sitting too much. Too much sitting increases your risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes, whereas exercise snacking can help you keep your blood sugar level steady. Of course, longer term studies are needed, but the evidence we do have suggests exercise snacking really helps. Why does any of this matter? As you age, you lose strength and mass in the muscles you, you use to walk or stand up. Everyday tasks can become a struggle. All this contributes to disability, hospitalization, chronic disease, 
and re reliance on community and residential aged care support. By preserving your muscle mass and strength, you can reduce joint pain, get on with activities you enjoy, live independently in your own home, delay or even eliminate the need for expensive health care or residential aged care. And what if I walk a lot? Is that enough? Walking may maintain some level of lower body muscle mass, but it won't preserve your upper body muscles. If you find it difficult to get out of the chair or you can walk only short distances without getting out of breath, resistance training is the best way to regain some of the independence and function you've lost. It's even more important for women, as muscle mass and strength are typically lower in older women than men. And if you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis, which is more common in older women than men, resistance exercise snacking at home can improve your balance, strength, and bone mineral density. All of this reduces the risk of falls and fractures. You don't need heavy weights or fancy equipment to benefit from resistance training. So will you start exercise snacking today? I think I should, for, for sure. This is from the conversation by Justin Kogue, Associate Dean of Research, Faculty of Health Science and Medicine, Bond University, and Jackson Fife, Senior Lecturer, Strength and Conditioning Sciences, Deakin University, on Science Alert. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.